people can go through a background check are usually not the ones who are going to go kill somebody. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen. Well, all right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Behind me is the VR80, which <laughs> didn't run worth a crap, and now it runs like a sewing machine. And I'm very excited about the upcoming three-gun event that we're going to be shooting on Saturday, September 2nd. I believe that's this coming Saturday. So we're well ready, prepared, and ready to go. Uh, big shout-out to my buddy Val, who and I, he and I are going to go out to the range and sh do some practice. It's going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, what are we talking about today? This is a, an article that I found in the Yahoo News. Okay, so this is written by Colleen Long. And Lindley Sanders always give credit where credit is due. This was six minutes ago, August 25th. The GOP support for gun restrictions slips a year after Congress passed firearms law. Okay, you know why? Because now the GOP is in charge. Now, there are several GOP people out there that are what they call rhinos, and you know who you are. But uh, I thought it'd be interesting to share this article with you. So stand by. We're talking about things. Uh, was uh, saw Jared's video. We're talking about the SRT. And I thought it'd be interesting. Uh, we'll do uh, some stuff on the short reset trigger here very shortly. But you know what they do in the AP poll gun laws? File assault weapons and handguns are seen for sale at a Capital City Arms Supply in Springfield, Illinois. That was last in January before the law in 2013. Now, it's interesting to me is that they always show the scary photos, you know, of all the crazy stuff going on. Uh, well, anyway. All right. So let's get on with it. This is kind of interesting. Washington Associated Press, Republican support for gun restrictions is slipping a year after Congress passed the most comprehensive firearms control legislation in decades with bipartisan support. Well, it's kind of a bullshit law anyway, okay? Uh, I don't, as a matter of fact, I don't even know what's included in the law. That's what kind of bullshit law it is because no one really cares, okay? Uh, <laughs> according to a poll from the Associated Press, NORC, Center for Public Affairs Research, okay? That's led to a gap between Democrats and GOP in the issue of guns. It has widened in the last year. Democrats have consistently outpaced Republicans and independents in their belief that gun laws in the U.S. should be strengthened. No, Democrats and not independents, Democrats uh, pretty much think the firearms should be banned altogether. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. I mean, well, you know, I believe in the Second Amendment, but... If you listen to the thing that I did about Hillary Clinton a while back, uh, you'll understand exactly what I mean. And this is all because a poll found. Okay, so what poll did you do? What questions were asked in the poll? That makes a huge difference on how things are interpreted. Most Democrats, and this is 92%, want gun laws made stronger. Okay, what gun laws? We want to ban this, want to ban this, want to ban that, ban this, ban this. Keep people from getting guns. Red flag laws. Yada, 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 yada. In the University of Chicago, Harris AP Nork poll conducted in July 2022. But Republican desire for more expansive legislation has dropped to 32% from 49% last summer. And independence <laughs> support also declined slightly for to 61% from 72%. Well, there's a reason for that. So, the, okay, so I would say all these things that the Democrats propose are absolutely ridiculous. They're stupid. <clears throat> Who cares about them, okay? We've tried to legislate things for years without a lot of success. What, what are you trying to legislate? And I don't really think law and regulation are the answer to our problems. Uh, Robert Lloyd. 57 of Boonville, Arkansas, who is a registered Republican, but says he has lost faith in both sides. I think our problems go way beyond guns. Actually, he's right. A friend of mine who <laughs> grew up in South Philly drove up to Milwaukee the last couple of days, and he said he's never seen anything like it before in his life. He never felt in more danger than he has been. Is it because of the guns? No, it's not because of the guns. It's because of the inhabitants of the areas in Milwaukee, as well as you go to the west side of Chicago, south side of Chicago, you go to Philadelphia. There's areas. It's not because of guns that I feel terrified. <laughs> well, I don't feel terrified because, well, you know what? Uh, well, never mind. So in any case, the things that we feel terrified about is are because of the inhabitants, the people who live there, the people who have no no value of life. They have no idea what, it's, what law is. They have total disregard for human life, period. Okay. 
Let's, all right, let me get on back with it. Okay. Uh, yet, despite, despite the political divide, both sides believe it's important to produce mass shootings. Well, of course we do. How are you going to do that? Put the people in jail. Uh, that plague, the nation, okay, uh, majorities in American say they would support some additional restrictions on guns. Some additional restrictions on guns. Can you be more specific on what you actually offered these individuals that were more restrictions on guns, particularly background checks and red flags? Okay. In red flags, what do you mean by that? And how do you regulate red flags? Because I uh, read in an article the other day, there's a gentleman who's suing in Baltimore or Maryland, I believe it is, because he's just completely being harassed. Uh, a law enforcement to remove weapons from a person believed to be a danger to themselves or others. And that's all a matter of perspective. Okay. Even the GOP and independent headwinds on more restrictions lawmakers could find support. Enforcing background checks on all potential gun buyers earned by partisan support with 93% of Democrats and 68% of Republicans in favor. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's the truth. People can go through a background check are usually not the ones who are going to go kill somebody. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That AP Associated Press North poll highlights the complicated feelings Americans have around guns, particularly as the U.S. is on track to hit a high record of numbers of mass shootings in one year. Yada, yada. All right. What regulates a mass shooting? Well, I'll tell you what. And where are the mass shootings? I wake up every morning and I thank God there's not a school that's been hit by someone who is going to be nasty and use a gun to go into some place. But right now, hey, it's summertime. Guns aren't, um, schools aren't in session. Uh, yeah, um, let's see. <laughs> Particularly in the U.S. is on track to hit a high record number of mass shootings in one year. Gun violence is up in the cities around the nation. What cities? Who runs these cities? And President Joe Biden is vying for re-election. It's a fact. He's running. He'll probably die before then from exhaustion because he can't eat his ice cream. Uh, this is like an ice cream cone. It licks itself. <laughs> All right, re-election next year. And it's pushing a platform restricting guns. And it was all but politically unthinkable for fellow Democrats as recently as Barack Obama. No, he's still not going to get it done. I have grandkids now, and they have, they both have bulletproof backpacks to go to school. Said Democrat Gina Suits, 58, of Brookfield, Wisconsin, outside of Milwaukee. Did I just say something about Milwaukee where these assholes think, well, it's, you know, because of guns? No, look at the idiots that live there. Look at the people who have zero regard for human life. They don't think twice about just walking up and shooting somebody. It's not the gun. It's the individual. You know, it's like they say when a cop kills somebody, they don't say, oh, look, it's the gun. I feel I really feel stricter gun laws and banning assault weapons needs to happen. It's our children. It's all about the children, isn't it? Well, I'd like to make sure that my children are protected by me with my good old fashioned assault weapon. OK, if you really believe in gun laws, vote, she says, so we can get people in to make laws to save our children. Biden has said laws, the law passed last year after a deadly mass shooting in Duvalde, Texas. Uh, elementary school didn't go far enough. It pretend, routinely called for banning so-called assault weapons. Dude, that will never happen in this country. You can try. I don't think it will ever happen. They can ban, <laughs> they'll try to ban ammo. It'll go to lawsuit. They'll try to ban magazines. So you just, I don't know. What are we all supposed to go back to the old uh, musket deal? When, the, when our firearms, oh, wait a minute. Oh, don't get me started. When I, law enforcement is using a musket, well, I'm going to let them keep their muskets and I'll keep my guns. All right, the issue even came up in the GOP presidential debate Wednesday night when two of the eight candidates on stage were asked how they would manage an increase in school shootings. Neither talked about gun control. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie said he, he'd send violent criminals to prison. Okay, somebody's got it right. Okay, technology entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy said he'd put more police officers on the street. Absolutely. So that's the answer. I don't care what you do. You can ban all the guns in the entire world. Law-abiding citizens, good individual peoples who have a respect for human life and the law are not the ones going out and shooting up schools, all right, or shooting their neighbors or shooting their kids and drive-by shootings and doing stupid things. Overall, stricter gun laws are desired by a majority of Americans. No, they're not. What is 1%? They said a majority. Uh, maybe 1%. That's not a real demanding majority. <coughs> and... Let me point out, ladies and gentlemen, the majority of these people who are, oh, I feel stricter gun laws. They don't own a gun. 
okay? Why don't you ask the people who own a gun and don't, don't go, well, you know, the FUD's out there. When's the last time you heard the word FUD, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm going to put the link down below, but I'm not going to go any further on this thing because it just goes on and on and on and on. And we've been going on for, God, over 10 minutes now. Uh, oh, my God. Hold on. I've got to add this. Okay, so what I just said about the people who do that, um, there's a person here. Okay, I don't think anybody should own a gun, said Independent April Gambrel. Okay, that's the person, 47, who is married to a police officer and lives outside of Tampa, Florida. Who in their damn right mind thinks that somebody shouldn't own a gun? Why don't you take your happy ass to Australia? Okay, get out of my country. Her husband has weapons at home and is locked in a safe, but she said it doesn't make her feel much safer, and she worries about people who are untrained to use the guns. I don't think this is pure freaking ignorance. I don't think it's safe. It's horrible that kids have to be brought up in this world today, and instead of talking out your problems, people want to use a weapon. People. She just said it. The people. Okay? People don't want to talk things out. Remember the good old days when if you had a problem, you go out there in the street and just beat the shit out of each other. Then you go have a beer or drink afterwards. Nah, they can't do that anymore, man. They got to go shoot each other. Uh, all right. So that's a typical demonstration and an example of somebody who thinks that you, me, and the rest of us shouldn't own a firearm in order to protect our family. Only people should have guns. Well, you know, welcome to Russia, right? So with that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. The GOP. Yeah. You know what? It's not just the GOP, guys. It's not the Congress is not controlled by the Democrats, and that's why this is happening. And you hear those emails. That's just the story of my life. It's KB32. If you like this video and if you stuck around for this long, I always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. Y'all be good. Oh, tonight is Hawaiian shirts. I'm wearing my Charlie Harper shirt uh, for the, senior, uh, the varsity football game uh, where my son goes to school. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom. <laughs>